Hey Aquarius, welcome to July. Okay, so we're gonna look at a main theme for the month, uh, where you should be focusing your energy, what your challenges are, and then what it is you need to release. And those two things are really important because we're coming into Mercury retrograde energy, which is all about facing our challenges and figuring out what we need to dump in the past. Um, we're going to look at money and career because on the Facebook page, that's what you guys voted for as most important this month. And then we are going to look at your love life. So if you are a single Aquarius or um, coupled, and then also if you're in an undefined relationship. And undefined relationships would be something that's on again, off again. Maybe a polyamorous relationship or maybe just something that's not yet official, okay? So Aquarius, what's your theme for the month? And they're saying, you know, what is it that you're unhappy about? What is it you're dissatisfied about? What is it that you don't feel um, gives you like a lot of strength? Like where is it that personally you're not feeling your best? Um, we want to look at that energy and not like really beat ourselves up about it. Um, I feel like maybe you guys are being a little too hard on yourselves. You're being a little too self-critical. And this is something that we want to abandon, something we want to leave in the past, okay? So where should you be focusing your energy is that's kind of like the theme or the general um, sort of vibe for the month that isn't necessarily within your control. And they say we want to focus more on possibilities of what could be coming for you um, out of nowhere. There's awesome opportunities, awesome blessings and things that are coming for you. And you just need to sit here and be open to receive them. Okay, so we don't want to be in resistance energy at all, and that's why it's so important for us to come out of that sadness vibe and that critical vibe so that we know when good things come to us that we deserve it and we're more open to accept the blessings that are coming our way. What is our biggest challenge for the month? And they're saying um, the actual like get up and get them kind of attitude, that drive, that excitement, that passion. You might be feeling like a little bit humdrum, a little bit lazy, but kind of forcing yourself to get out there and chase something fun is going to do you the world of difference. What it is that we need to release is that focus on the negativity, on the things that aren't working out for us, on what's not going our way, and then turn our attention more towards the things that are going right in our life and maybe even expressing a little gratitude for those things. They say it shouldn't be actually that difficult of a switch. It's, it should be very easy for you once you set your mind to it. Um, however, it's kind of just like that default mode for us to be naturally inclined to focus, focus on that based on astrology this month. And I'm not an astrologist, but I'm just saying like the universal for forces. I don't know how that all works out, but that's what I'm getting from the cards, okay? Um, what is the thing that we need to be concerned about in money and career? And they're saying whatever cycle you're in right now, it's not yet ended. You can... Whatever your cycle with money and career has been over the last few months, I wouldn't anticipate many changes there. Um, they're saying you might not exactly feel tons of love and joy in the current moment, um, but it's kind of like, oh, it's good enough, right? And there's this lack of desire or will to even make any changes anyway, and so where you've been is kind of what you can expect. Um, however, when I mentioned before, expect that, you know, maybe awesome opportunities will come out of nowhere. That is possible for some Aquarians in regards to money and career. All of a sudden, you might get this big check in the mail that you weren't expecting. Or all of a sudden, you know, an awesome opportunity for you might come up out of nowhere, um, something you weren't even looking for. And so they're saying, um, if that's the case for you, feel very confident that it's okay to take it. Um, you might have a little bit of fear that it will sort of like disturb your natural harmony or maybe even astrological fear. Like, oh, we're not supposed to start new things in a Mercury retrograde. But for you, it's actually okay. I would feel a lot of confidence and joy um, towards that. They're saying there's actually nothing for you to worry about, okay? And I would say this is especially true if Aquarius is your rising sign. When we watch videos, um, our sun sign is kind of like how other people um, kind of perceive us. Like this is like our set nature. Our moon sign is how we feel. So this is about our personal relationships, our love lives. And then our rising sign is often related to like work. Um, so especially if you're an Aquarius rising, okay? Um, they say this month might not be your strongest month, like your biggest income, like you might not feel 
a million percent amazing about your finances and your career this month, but they're saying, um, you know, things aren't so bad as you might be making them seem. You might be lying to yourself about the reality of your situation, um, that things are actually better than you think they are. And I think part of this is just like not wanting to rely on other people for help. So, um, for example, it might be one of those things where you don't want to ask somebody to chip in for part of a bill um, because usually you just cover it. And so this month is like, eh, you know what, maybe it's time that, you know, this happens. Maybe you have a roommate and it's time to increase their rent, something like that. It's like things we don't want to do, but that other people around us will happily contribute towards. Um, and that could be even in the work situation. Other people will happily um, help you out with some of your tasks, but you have to ask, okay? Um, what's going on in your love life for singles? And they're saying, this is totally about you. This is a month about, like, you know, caring for yourself first and foremost, knowing exactly what you want and not settling for anything less than. And does that mean that it might take longer to find the right match? Yeah, you might not find it in July, but having that um, sense and putting yourself first is going to give you more quality relationships. So if you're single and you're an Aquarius in July, you might not be feeling like super stoked or pumped about what's to come um, just because, like I said, you know, it might take time to wait for the right person to show up, but we don't want to fuck around with the wrong person anyway. And so this is actually a good thing, and shifting that mindset would be helpful for you. They're saying some of you might feel particularly lonely or distressed about this, but don't, because it's better to wait for the right person to come along instead of, like, investing all of this time and energy in the wrong relationship and then feeling all bummed out when it doesn't work out later. Uh, if you are a coupled Aquarius, they're saying... There's really not that much that they have to say to you this month about the relationship. Um, if you're feeling a little bit down, try not to take things out on your partner. Um, try not to be bitchy. <laughs> but, I mean, that's kind of obvious every month, right? They're saying um, focusing really in on the long-term goals instead of, like, the tiny steps it takes to get there will be um, something important for you this month. And I feel like a lot of signs actually had that in the couples arena, so they're saying, but yeah, like we really don't have that much to say to you. Like this isn't a month of like massive spiritual importance, okay? Um, for those of you in undefined relationships, they're saying you might not be sure how you feel about that and you might be kind of antsy to kind of make a decision to say, you know what, this is what I'm going to do about this or this is what I'm not going to do about this this month, which is hard when you don't really have a strong grasp on how you feel. And so they're saying taking other people's feelings out of the equation and just looking at you specifically and what your needs are is the key to making the right choices in regards to any undefined relationships this month. They're saying you're going to get out of um, the decisions, like whatever you put into making them, okay? And so other, other signs had this sort of... Um, energy with relationships like you're going to get out of relationships what you put into them what you have is like the amount of time and energy that I really take assessing what I truly want and what best serves me is like what's going to give you a better outcome okay it's not about how much you give to a situation it's how much you give to yourself uh, this month is there anything else that undefined relationships need to know and they're like if you're not feeling it you're not feeling it you know, and then you have to think, what would it take for me to be happy in this situation? And if you can't provide that within the relationship for yourself, then it's time to cut it off because we can't make expectations um, and force other people to do things for us. OK, um, best of luck and I'll talk to you in August. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!